Hi, hi guys! So for today's video, I'll share with you the updated updated um, everyday makeup. The last one I did was last year. Parang hindi pa ako nanganak noon. So um, it's been what a couple of months na. And since nanganak ako and then bumalik ako sa work, iba na yung routine ko. So that's what I'm going to show to you today. So nakatapos ko lang maligo pero na air dry na yung hair ko kasi nagpatulog muna ako ng baby bago ako um sumalang dito. So ang tagal niya matulog, natuyo ng buho ko and everything. So first I'm going to do is moisturize my face. I'm going to use itong Linovera Oil for dehydrated and fragile skin and for skin recovery. I really, really love this. I mean, ako personally yung skin ko was, um, ngayon na, combination to oily and normal. Oily yung T-zone ko, but then the rest of my face is papasang normal. <laughs> but you know what, before... I am extremely oily. Pag nag makeup ako, tas wala pa siguro ng one hour, ang shiny shiny na no dito ko, tas kailangan ng iblot or kailangan ng mag, alam mo yun, maglagay ng powder, mag retouch and everything, wala pa isang oras yun. And hindi pa ako lumalabas sa, alam mo yun, sa init ng araw. Nandun lang ako sa loob ng office, at alam mo yun, malamig and everything. Tapos nag oil up na ako. Pero alam niyo guys, para dun sa mga super duper oily dyan, I highly recommend that you try to use oil moisturizers like argan oil etong etong linovera oil or yung parang sunflower oil kasi teka maglalagay mo na ako bago ako tsumika kasi i remember this the mistake that i did dati kaya ako super duper oily ginagawa ko talaga lahat ng paraan para maging matte yung face ko i use mattifying this mattifying that i use anti oil channeling channeling so ang nangyayari Yes, na mamatify yung face ko. Pero yung effect nun is panandalian lang. Kasi guys, the more na minamatify niyo yung face nyo, the more na nagiging dry, the more na sinasabi ng skin nyo na, oh my God, guys, ang dry natin. Mag-produce tayo ng more oil. Kasi naturally talaga, hindi dapat like, ano yun, super dry yung face natin. So the more na nag anti oil channeling, channeling ka, uh, nagmamatify yung channeling, channeling ka, the more na magpo-produce ng oil yung face mo, the more kan magiging oily. Gumamit ka ng um, skincare oils. And then, huwag kalimutan yung leeg kasi dito nakikita ang edad ng tao. <laughs> so, alam mo yun, um, itry nyo. It's not gonna be an overnight solution to your oily face. Sa akin, parang nakita ko talaga yung difference after a month. Nag-start ako sa sunflower oil ng, um, ang tawag dito? My God, I forgot the name. If flash ko nilang dito. Nag-start ako sa sunflower oil, and then nag-argan oil ako, and then, ano pa ba yung ginamit ko? Grapeseed oil, na ganun din ako. And then, ngayon, currently, eto yung ginagamit ko, and ayan na siya. Eto, siguro mga four months ko nang ginagamit, guys. And I love this, kasi compared sa ibang mga skin oils, madali siyang mag-absorb. Hindi siya parang nakalapat lang sa taas ng skin mo. So, madali siyang mag-absorb. I can put my makeup na maayos, maganda, um, smooth yung canvas. So, I really love this. I highly recommend that you try this, you guys. Ito, feeling ko ang price ito nasa 1,000 or 900 something something. Itong ganito. Pero magagamit mo siya na matagal. Kasi I use this day and night. And for like 4 months na. So, alam mo yun. Ito, ito pala yung nababawa. So, yeah, I do love this. I do recommend that you try this because it's really good for my skin. And nakakabawas nga talaga ng pagiging oily yung ano yung paglalagay mismo ng oil. Kasi maiisip ng skin mo, oh my god, hindi tayo dry, guys. We're super moisturized. So, don't produce too much oil na. <laughs> Sabang hinantay ko yung um, face ko na mag-set. I'm gonna do my brows. And the current eyebrow product that I'm using is from Detail Makeover. You make it pro starter pen nila. And this is in the shade Ash Grey. Kasi nga, black na yung parang tips ng hair ko. Iniisip ko pa kung Gusto ko magpa-black ng hair or I want to go back to, you know, light brown and everything. Next thing I'm going to do, guys, is this is not a new technique, pero ito yung um, recently na ginagawa ko to make my blush last long and para mas magmukha ko sort of kind of mas mestiza. <laughs> Next product is blush. And, ang napupusuan ko nowadays is itong Everbelena Blush Rush 
in the shade Mandarin Muse. Alam niyo guys, agad din ito kasi hindi siya agad-agad nagsiset. So may time kang mag ano, ang tawag dito, mag time may time kang mag blend ng ano mo, blush mo, kung saan mo siya gustong ilagay. Ayan no, hindi ka tulad ng ibang mga lip tint, yung pagkalagay mo ang bilis mag-dry. So, para mas mukhang natural, dinadrag ko ng konti, pababa, ganyan. And, oh my god guys, every time siguro nagagawa ko ng makeup, lagi ko sinasabi yun, huwag nyong gawin yung Girl, I mean, okay, bahala kayo ako ng trip nyo. But for personally, for me, ayoko yung parang mula dito. Magkadugtong yung blush pa ganon. Naka, hindi siya, hindi siya mukhang natural for me. Kuha ko na konti pa. Eto guys, okay lang na medyo kakapalang ko talaga. Dadamihan ko kasi matatakpan siya, di, matatakpan din siya later on. Pero ang habol ko kasi dito is, yung parang siyang from within, alam mo yun, And then, maglalagay ako dito, konti, ganyan. Kasi, naturally ako, pag namumula, namumula na yun ako. And then, itong sa baba. Again, okay lang madami kasi later on, matatakpan din yan. Next thing I'm going to do is yung foundation na. Now, for everyday pamasok, very very light lang yung ginagawa kong foundation kasi gusto ka nga... Parang no makeup makeup look. Parang i-enhance mo lang talaga yung face lako mo. So, ito yung ginagamit ko foundation from Everbalena. Ito, this is really, really good for everyday. Kasi super duper light lang siya. Light to medium coverage. But I wouldn't recommend it kung meron kang, alam mo yun, pang matagalang event. Because it's not that strong for me, personally. Ay, ano pala? Minix ko siya sa sunblock ko. So, para kong gumawa ng tinted moisturizer. And then, na-apply ko lang siya all over. Sometimes I just use my fingers, but sometimes I use a beauty sponge for a more natural, flawless looking uh, finish. And as nabawasan na yung blush. But I like to add a little bit more sa under eyes. Alam niyo ba guys, now that I'm 30 years old, ayoko na ng masyadong matte matte kasi mas nakakabata yung dewy and yung glowy chenilin kembot. Kasi pag all matte ka, if you have wrinkles or dry spots, alam mo yun. Tsaka pa sino yung mga Korean, mahilig sila sa mga BB creams and all that kasi nga nakakabata ng itsura. Pag alam mo yun, glowy and dewy yung ano mo, skin mo. Next thing is, I'm going to set my face. Ito, Detail Makeover Loose Powder. This is in the shade Light. And I am loving it so far kasi hindi siya ganun ka-thick. But it does set your ano. I'm using a wet sponge again kasi this is a more long-lasting and maganda yung lapat ng powder. Hindi dry looking. Nasa-set yung face mo pero hindi dry looking. And then, lalagyan ko lang sa my nose. Just a little bit on the forehead. So, hindi buong face sineset ko. Lalo na yung dito sa mga cheeks. Gusto ko ano yan. Dewy, glowy, and everything. Next up, I'm going to contour. And I am loving this one. This is from Ara Colors. Uh, glow, huh? Ara Colors Shade and Glow Duo. But, I just use yung pang contour. Kasi it's really nice, it's a really, really nice gray undertone contour powder. So, contour natin yung nose. You do this. Ayan, o. Oh. <laughs> Tapos, yung lalim. Napin mo yung lalim. Where? Ayan, ah. And then, dito sa kabila. Ayan. Para mahanap, gaman nito kayo, para mahanap niya yung parang natural na ililiit <laughs> ng nose niya. Alam niyo yun. Oh, diver. And then, beauty sponge to blend a little bit. And then, contour brush. And after contouring, kuha ko na konti. Yun na yung ilalagay ko dito. Ginagawa ko pa rin yung kinakonek ko yung eyebrows ko doon sa nose ko, sa buto. I swear you guys, it will make a difference in your appearance. Pag medyo darken yung dito. And then, magfa-face mist na ako. You can use whatever. 
face mist that you have. And then habang basa pa yung face mist, maglalagay na ako ng highlighter. You can use whatever highlighter that you have. Yung beauty sponge ko ulit. Dab dab lang na ganyan. And then, yun na yung... And then, try nyo guys, kumuha ng mga... This is from Wet n Wild Mega Glow. Uh, this is in the shade Blossom Glow. Try nyo gumamit din ng medyo pinkish na ano, na highlighter. Hindi lang yung parang silver silver or yung parang yellow goldy goldy. Sometimes ang ganda din ng effect ng ano, ma pinkish pinkish na. Parang it gives you like a pinky glow. Ano mo yon? Pwede na ako ng very very slight dito sa inner corners. Then for the lips, every day iba iba yung gusto ko sa lips. Sometimes I use really really solid colors, and usually yung kita gamit ko is yung mga colored na ano ko na uh, lip tint. Um, comment down below guys kung gusto yung magswatch pa ko nito, cause I have a few. I don't have all of the shades, but I have a few of these. Tapos pa gusto yung makita if we have the same skin tone. And yun, do you want to swatch or? Oh, na lang. <laughs> Cause you you've seen enough. <laughs> like I said, sometimes I want solid colors, na matte. But but most of the time, the glowy doing face ko gusto ko ng ano mayon dewy din na lips para para lang may complete look. So kino contour ko lang yung lips ko to make it plumpier. <laughs> For today, I feel kong mag all the way, you know, glossy and poppin. So, what I usually do pag nagko gloss ako, lalagyan ko muna ng dark shade, yung inner corners. I, I use whatever dark lip I have. This one is from Colorette Lip Tint in the shade Riley. And then yung inner corner lang. Uh, the lip gloss that I've been loving recently is from Essence Cosmetics. Nakuha ko to sa Lazada nung na grand sale, and I just got this for. 200 pesos ata isa. So I have two shades. Ito gamit na gamit ko na burado na siya. Oh, but it's a nude shade and this one has a little bit of pinky shade. So hmm. I think let's try this one. Same as the face. Kapag kagamamit ka ng lip gloss at alam mo yon, tama yung lip gloss, bagay saya. Tama rin yung pagkakalagay pagkakalagay niya. It's gonna give you a younger looking, and man, younger looking lips. <laughs> Plump, juicy. Alam ko magkano to ngayon, pero abangan nyo pag next sale kasi ang ganda nito. Ang ganda nito, ang ganda nito ang Essence Plumping Nudes Lip Gloss kasi nakakaano talaga siya. Nakaka-plump. You know? <laughs> Aside from the lip contour that I did. By the way, yes, I have lash extensions on, and that's for another story, but I love lash extensions. It's not for everybody. There are some pros, there are some cons, and tell me if you want me to share those, but uh, I mean, for those who are thinking of lash extensions, um, I could tell you my experience, I could tell you what I think about them, and I could have some recommendations for you guys. So that completes my updated everyday makeup routine. That is for 2020. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Video requests, comment down below, okay? Again, thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye!